Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to Mystical Munchies featuring the Cooking with Deadpool cookbook. We're starting off this month with the appetizer as usual. Look at them puppies. As this is another recipe that's got stories, let's tell this one. So I was an adventure for a while. No really, true story. I was drafted by Captain America himself to serve on a unity squad devoted to fostering peace between humans, mutants, and inhumans. During that time, I also had a brief romantic encounter with the Southern Belle known as Rogue. And by romantic encounter, I mean we made out. A lot. Unfortunately, her ability to absorb other people's attributes meant she also absorbed my memories, which are not anything a lady should ever have to see. Then an old boyfriend came back into the picture, things got awkward, the squad disbanded, we lost touch, she married Gambit, and my invitation to the ceremony apparently got lost in the mail. But if she asks, I'm doing fine. Just fine. Now, if you need me, I'll be eating the hush puppies she taught me to make by the handful as I cry myself to sleep. Well, let's find out how good these are for crying yourself to sleep, as the ingredients are waiting for us over at the table, so now we're going to head in that direction. For this recipe, we need one and two thirds, thirds of a cup of cornmeal, third of a cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon of sugar and salt, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, two eggs, a cup of buttermilk, and two quarts of oil for frying. I'm using peanut oil in this case. With that, let's head into the kitchen and start putting this recipe together. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to start off with the dry ingredients. So we're going to take our yellow cornmeal, which of course I will need to open. And of course they don't perforate this. Well, that works too. Now let's see if I can separate, there we go. I was trying to separate the plastic wrap on top from the lid because I will need the lid to be able to close this. So we've got my third of a cup container, cup measuring cup here. We're just gonna count out five to get to one and two thirds cup. There's one, two, three, <clears throat> four, And five. Which the cornmeal can go back up. Third of a cup of flour. Ow! Nick myself a bit with the clasp. There's the flour. Measuring cup can go towards the dishes, the flour can go back up. I believe it's two teaspoons each of baking powder, baking and onion powder. Take the onion powder. And the baking powder. We've got the baking powder right here. That can go towards the dishes as well. These two powders can go back up. <clears throat> and I believe it's a half a teaspoon of baking soda, right? Yes. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. All right, then a teaspoon each of sugar and salt. So I've got the sugar in the canister just off shot. Salt. I 
Okay, that goes there. That goes all the way up. And I believe our last dry ingredient is the cayenne pepper. So I've got that right here. Quarter cup of that. Or quarter cup, quarter teaspoon of that. Quarter cup would probably send me screaming for water. Because as I mentioned in the past, Spicy and I do not get along very well. So now we're going to whisk all this together at a very weird angle once again. Okay. I think we're all set there, but I'm not going to want to go too far with it because now we need the other mixing bowl and shot. In another bowl, we're going to take our eggs which I've got my two eggs off shot. Here's the first one, hopefully minus shell. Okay. And our second egg. Nice and easy, no shell. wash just to get some of the residual egg off. All right, the eggs can get put back away. Because now we want our cup of buttermilk. So I'm giving this a shake before I use it. can get poured there. Alright, I don't think I want a wooden spoon for this next part. I'm just going to grab a regular fork out. There we go. Because now we're going to beat the eggs in the buttermilk. Okay. Now we're going to burn, now with that beaten, we're going to bring the dry ingredients back in shot. Now we might want, actually we might want the, I think we do want that wooden spoon out. So I'm going to see if I can stand that fork straight up while I get the wooden spoon back out. Because now we're going to add the wet ingredients to the dry. Which means I'm going to get the whisk out of there. And then we're going to stir them until just combined. Actually, let me get a spatula here as well. See if I can scrape some of this out. This one will do. Okay, I think that's probably as much as I'm going to get out of there. That can go to the dishes as well. And we'll give that a stir until everything's just combined.
Okay. I think we're pretty much good there. I can already smell a little bit of that. But now we're going to move over to the stove. If you're a regular viewer on the channel, then you know what this then you know this is a very familiar sight. What it means here for those for those of you who are uninitiated is I'm heating oil up for an eventual fry. The target temperature we're looking at looking for this time is 365. We're at about 343 right now and climbing. 345. So we're going to watch the we're going to watch the last 20 degrees in real time, which is what we we usually watch like the last 20 to 30 d degrees for the for the for those of you who are new to the channel. I usually we usually watch like the last I would say 20 to 30 degrees of especially oil that we're heating up in real time. And I'll always do the I'll always do the first I'll always do one batch on camera as a demo, but then I'll turn the camera off to finish the rest of it out, which is what we're going to do here as usual, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because we're waiting for about another 16 more degrees before we do anything. So, 351. Let me make sure my scoop's ready. Actually, try to scrape a little bit of the Hush Puppy batter off the wooden spoon. Make sure we've got as much of it in there as we can possibly get. Okay, I think we're good there. And then that wooden spoon can go in the dishes at this point since we're done with it. This is probably about a 30 second warning for, in case you're wearing headphones, you're going to start hearing the beep 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 of the temperature of the oil of the oil temperature probe go off and this is one thing I definitely recommend you have in the kitchen is is a temperature probe like this so you can check the temperature of especially oil when you're doing any when you're doing a lot of cooking with oil there are various feel techniques you can use I think my mom's told me something about like using a like using a using a drop of water on your fingertips to check the oil that way but I don't really like getting my hands any closer to oil than I can avoid. So that's why I tend to use a temperature probe like this where I can keep an eye on where I can keep an eye on the temperature and once it starts beep beep beeping like it's going to in about 10 seconds, then I know okay, the oil's ready to work with and there's no there's no doubting that. So we are at 361 right now, which means we should be there very shortly. There we are. Okay, you zip it. Okay, we'll lift that clean out. The probe can go straight into the dishwater. And now we're going to take the scoop, which I've got right here, start scooping out portions of this. flatten it out just a touch. Then we're going to drop it into the oil. We can probably get several portions of this. Okay. I'm definitely getting a whiff of that cayenne pepper. probably get one or two more in there. I don't want to crowd it too much. That's what I'm trying to avoid doing here. I think one more. There we go. All right. I'll check my hands just a little bit since I've got, since I've still got some dishwater going over here. 
And then we want to fry these up until they're golden brown on all sides. So I've got my slotted spoon over here that I use for oil cooking just to keep an eye on these. Okay. Wow, I'm, de I'm definitely getting a whiff of the spiciness on these. I'll bring the... They also suggest warming the oven up to 200, preheating the oven to 200, so you can keep them warm until you're ready to serve them. We're probably going to end up going through these right away, but especially with the taste test part of it. Uh, I think a couple of these at least are ready to come out. I think these two can come out. Mm. We'll give that one another minute for sure. These two, I think, can come out. Actually, I think these can come out as well. All right. Then I'll scoop the rest of the. I'll scoop the rest of this in. I'll shut. The, at this point, I'm going to shut the camera off so I can do the rest of the hush puppies. Then we'll come back to take a look at the finished product. Then I'll meet you guys over at my desk for the taste test. There's a look at the finished product with the last of the puppies coming off the coming out of the oil. Everything's been cooling for a little bit, so what say now we head over to my desk for the taste test. I've got the hush puppies right here. I was definitely getting a whiff of the cayenne pepper as they were as they were as they were in the batter before I put them in the oil. I am definitely glad I did not put a quarter cup of cayenne pepper in these. Like I said, that would have sent me screaming for water, but let's go ahead and try one of these and see how bad they look, how bad they, how spicy they are. They're also gonna be a little bit warm because again, they're fresh out of hot oil. In case you're wondering what was going on inside my mouth, yes, it was. It looked like I was kind of tap dancing the food around a little bit, but it ended up even being a little bit hotter than I expected, even for it coming fresh out of oil. I was trying to work it around in a way that didn't burn my mouth, but still, this actually did turn out pretty good. And I was worried about the cayenne pepper overwhelming me. It actually didn't in this case. So it was definitely spicy enough to notice, but not really anything that I think is going to cause any problems. But that's another episode of Mystical Munchies in the books. Next week, we're going to be making the side chicarones. We've got a busy weekend of uploads still coming up on the channel. Yet to today, I've got a product unboxing that I'm going to be making, and I've got the campaign intro for the winter campaign in Arkham Horror, the card game. Then Sunday, we're going to have the first scenario for that campaign, but I'll talk more about that during that video. Wednesday, we're playing Aeon's End. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care, everyone.